Hey there everyone, this is Danielle, playing some more Spyro the Dragon. Uh, I mentioned earlier that there's actually a hidden level in back here in the Artisan's homeworld, which is why we're here. Uh, in the original version of the game, you couldn't access it until you got to a dragon later on who tells you about it. Apparently they changed that in the reignited version, so you don't have to find out about it before it'll work. So we're gonna do it now. Uh, you just jump on these rocks. You can see they start glowing. When you do that, it's a nice effect. They just basically turned yellow in the original game. There we go. Once you've done all of them, it reveals Sunny Flight, which is the first flight level in the game. Uh, and can apparently be accessed as soon as you begin the game in this version, rather than requiring you to hear about it elsewhere. Anyway, uh, just to give you an idea of what the flight levels are like. Uh, basically, it's time limited, and you need to get all the things it's telling you to get within the time limit. You get a little bonus when you get a certain number of them. Uh, and the flight controls are pretty decent. And I messed it up. Yes, I'd like to retry. <laughs> Hopefully it won't have to like reload too much. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so you can see there's some barrels going this way. You can see that that's added up to our little barrel counter there. And you can see there's like a, there's a countdown up in the corner there, so... I don't know what the correct route is, so um, we'll see how we go. But yeah, there's a whole bunch of things you got to fly through, and destroy, and all sorts of stuff. And these planes are some of them, so... I'm not really doing any kind of uh, coordinated route here, I'm just basically flying around. Fairly arbitrarily at this point. So we'll see how we go. Ah, and yeah, if you touch water, you die. So you've got to watch out for that. So you can see we need to get all the planes, all the barrels, all the chests, and all the arches. And we need to do all of that in one go, and that'll get us a bunch of extra gems. Um, so hopefully I can pull that off. Try going this way, I guess. Uh, if you land safely, like not in the water, you can actually recover from it. But typically, you're gonna land in water because there's a lot of water. The archers, I think, you have to actually fly through them rather than just burning them, which is a bit annoying. Requires a bit more precision. Um, one of the chests is in here, so let's see if we can get to it. You can see we're running out of time quite quickly. Got to be very well planned, and I'm not, so it's a bit of a problem. Uh, if you miss one, yeah, that's going to be a problem. I got all the chests. That's something. Um, but I need to get everything all in one go, and I'm gonna run out of time in a second. See, so yeah, I got 60 gems for getting all the chests, but you could get all of, all of everything all in one go, and that's really hard. Yeah, I have no idea what the correct route is, so I'm pretty much just guessing. Uh, see something I want to burn, fly towards it, hopefully that goes okay. You can't really adjust your speed very much, which makes things a bit tricky. I think all the planes are just in this little area though, so if I just stick around here for a bit longer, I should be able to take them all out. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Let's 
Oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh god! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. <sighs> well, I got another 60 gems from getting all the planes. That's something. But you have to get them all in one go. Ah. Oh, this is really hard. <laughs> I feel like I might want to just follow this track. There's nothing in here though, so maybe not. Did I hit both of those? I hope I did. Yeah, okay, I got all the barrels. So that's a good start. Um, now I've just got to figure out where everything else is. And destroy it before time runs out. And it's going down very quickly. Oh my god. Ah, no! Freaking water. So hard. <laughs> yeah, this is significantly more difficult than the rest of the game, honestly. Which seems a bit unreasonable. In my opinion. Like, especially considering the other stuff in the Artisan's home world, which is much, much easier than this. At least they have analog controls. Like the original version of this level, you would be playing with a PlayStation 1 controller with no analog, uh, which would be very difficult. Are there any more planes left? Yeah, there's still two. Oh my god. I think if I go this way, there's more arches. Yeah, there are. They're quite far away, though. Eek. Oh, dang it. Hmm. See, so, yeah, you get the idea. Um, these flight levels are really hard. Um,. I think a bit unreasonably so, perhaps. Oops. Let's go for the arches. If you could speed up, that'd be great, but you can't. You go at just one speed and this is it. Oh. 
Okay, I'm gonna keep trying. I'm gonna keep trying. I kind of expected this to take a while, because uh, these are hard. Seriously? There we go. How the heck did I survive that? <sighs> Whatever, doesn't matter. I think it might be faster if I go this way. Maybe a little bit. Come on. <sighs> yeah, I don't really like the flight levels, and you can probably see why. They're really annoying. Oh my god, did I really not hit that at all? Seriously? Oh my god. I hate. It's not fun. <laughs> it's annoying. It could at least give you like a time bonus or something for getting all the things in a group, but it doesn't. Uh, that was terrible. I don't, I don't like the flying levels in this game. I just, they're not, they're not fun. They don't play like the rest of the game at all. They don't, not, oh, I don't like them. <sighs> I'm just gonna take a breather. Oh, oh god. So I did still get some of the treasure because I completed a few of the groups, but to get all the treasure from a flight level, you have to do all of it. I'm kind of tempted to not do all the flight levels and just focus on everything else because I don't like them. <sighs> Take a look here, you can say 60% complete. Yeah. 
Whereas everything else is, of course, 100% complete. Hmm. look at the other two flight levels just that we have access to just so we've got an idea of what I'm planning to skip because I hate flight levels um there's one in each world so we'll, we'll head on to the next world and take a look at that one that's uh, uh peacekeepers uh, you can get some of the gems out of them but they're just so annoying to play through, and I don't enjoy them, and they feel very out of place in this game that's full of, like, wide open platforming areas that have absolutely no time constraints whatsoever. And just encourage you to explore and at your own pace and do what you can, and not necessarily do it all in one go, which is what you do have to do for the flying levels. Yeah, I don't I don't like them. I don't think the later Spyro games have them. I think they changed that around. Um, which is good, because I don't like them. Uh, so here, if we make our way through this way... The flying level in this one is part way through. Uh, we're looking for... This area. You turn, you go this way, uh, you fly past this guy, night flight. Here it is. So let's give it a look. Uh, I'll probably hate it, because I don't like the flying levels in, in this game. But we'll give it a shot, we'll see how we go. And we'll have a look at the one in Magic Crafters as well. Um, and then, I'm probably not going to do flying levels after that, I'm just going to focus on the regular levels. And you're going to just have to be okay with that. So yeah, you got some rings to fly through in this one. Solve my maze. So the intended route is a lot more obvious than this one, which is kind of a good thing. It's just sort of like, okay, now we do the chests, and the chests are right there. Oh my god. I'll give it a couple of tries, but I'm not gonna put too much effort into it again. So yeah, you do the rings first, because they're right in front of you. So they're only worth one second instead of three, which is pretty annoying. And even these are only worth two seconds, which is still pretty annoying. myself at that one in the ground properly. <sighs> Spyro, why are you like this? Oh my god, what are you doing? Oh my god. 
Well, I got another 60 gems, I guess. That's something. Maybe I should just ignore those and try to get the other stuff now. Let's start with the archers like this. Where, where are you going? Spyro. Where, where? The flying controls are different and they're a little confusing. Oh, that was terrible. <sighs> I think I want to go through the rings first, and I can start lighting the, the lamps once I get to the other side. Because there's a lamp right there. Why does he even look hurt when he falls in the water in this part of the game? He just like, dang it, why did I fall in water? Whereas, he actually looks like he's drowning when he touches water in the normal game. <laughs> that was dumb. He's just stopped flying for no reason. That's excellent. <sighs> okay, I'll give this a couple more tries, and then I'm gonna move on to the Magic Crafters one, and then that's pretty much gonna be me for these levels. I might come back to them later, but I'm gonna focus on regular platforming levels because I don't like these. Did that even light up? It, <sighs> seriously? Last one. Oh, there. Ah, oh, god damn it. Okay, that's enough of that one. Let's have a look at Magic Crafters. And that's gonna be me for these flight levels because I don't I don't like them. And we're gonna have more than enough treasure by playing the rest of the game, and maybe we'll come back and look at them later. Maybe. Or maybe we'll just focus on levels that are fun, like the normal levels that aren't flight levels, because flight levels in this game suck. We could just fast travel, but I like the balloonist. Magic craft is. Boop! I think it's about the same speed anyway. The loading screen is pretty long in either case. Anyway, uh, so yeah, we're headed to Magic Crafters. I forget where the flight level is in this one, but I can probably find it without too much trouble. We can't fast travel there because I haven't entered any of the levels yet, so it won't be in the menu. Yeah, that is a long load. Okay, here we go. There's the other balloonist. I think we have to get over to there. Uh, but to do that, we have to go through here. That beef is back. Those guys are back. 
all the enemies will be back, but we already got all the gems out of them, so it doesn't really matter that much. I believe we do need to supercharge here to get through. High Caves is a regular level. Oh yeah, the this um, flight level is just down here. It's actually very easy to find. Crystal Flight. Here it is. Alright, so we'll give this one a quick shot, and then we'll actually go play some regular levels. Um that I enjoy. Uh, probably in a separate video, I'll probably finish this one off and just call it the annoying flight episode or something like that. There are three more flight levels in the other three worlds, of course, so I might have a look at them as well, but maybe not, I don't know. Okay, there's rings over here, let's head for the rings. Arch there, then I'll return this way. Hmm, this one's going okay. Probably shouldn't have said that, I'll probably cursed myself. Alright, well we got the arches and rings, so we're halfway there, uh, except that you have to do them all in one go, obviously, to get all the treasure, so... <sighs> let's, let's try again. It's only worth one second each, so you're losing a lot of time going this way, but whatever. Oh my god. Okay, I got all the chests. I didn't get all the planes or the arches. <sighs> That's the closest I've come, but it wasn't great. <laughs> I might give this one one more try, and then I'm going to call it a video. You might get an idea of why I don't particularly like these levels anyway. And while I'll be focusing on the fun parts of Spyro, which I mean the platforming levels that thankfully make up the bulk of the game. There's one more plane, and I have absolutely no time to get it. God damn it. So close. And I flew over that plane while shooting fire at it and didn't hit it because the hitboxes and stuff. Okay, one more shot, one more shot. That was so close. We can do this. We can do this.
and then we can end the video and we can start another one where I play a level that I actually enjoy. No. <sighs> okay, that's that's done. I'm not doing it again. I've got all the individual things. That's just gonna have to count. Oh god. Ah. Oh. All right. Okay, next video, we're going to go to some of the actual levels of Magic Crafters, and they're going to be so much better. It's going to be super fun, and I'm going to have a great time, and it's going to be awesome. Heck yeah. Anyway, uh, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed, or at least you weren't too put off by my suffering. Um, thanks for watching. Um, yeah. Bye!